What up though, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. My name is Grim and we are playing Manual Samuel today. A friend of mine insisted I play this game, so here we go. Uh, we're playing the single player. Hold up, I'm gonna do some... Drop the music down because it's the game's really loud. Still quite loud, huh? Oh, well, that's fine. The hell is spine tingle? The English subtitles, yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so, yo, all right, let's begin. Oh, Chetan, I hate you so much right now. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier... What the fuck? Is the stream stuck for you? Yeah, that's weird. I had to put it in windowed mode for it to be... Seriously, it wouldn't run full screen mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're... Now not been running. ...in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. You're a douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear. This is Sam's girlfriend. No audio. Also not being heard by Sam. What? I was probably very low then. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility. How about now? By his large wealth. 
She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam. You're very good at existing. Huh? How dare you startle my child? An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold! Oh, gee. How is our son going to become a respected politician? Sam remembers the one thing he's himself. good at. I thought he was paying for an stuff. Actor. So he turns around oh, to pay for his friends? beverage. Oh, I'm gonna hate this so much. Sam pays the guy 500 euros. Barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam oh, spends I'm gonna a decade hate this making so his way much. out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers. Per BCs hour. happen. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Ha, ah, feces. That's funny. Why is he throwing up? Because of what he did? Or should I move my webcam to it's okay where it is? bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam. But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then, he finds seven glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. 
He checks out that the source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the Grim Reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, horrifying voice, he lays this on sound. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a second look at Sam and his eye sockets widen. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man. It decided. The notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. If you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam decides to check out the rest of Hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into Hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrible. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job. He keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell, whenever that's going to be. Hehe, <laughs> I, bro, I only get to do these deals and but if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. Well then. To hell with hell. Achievement unlocked. Okay. Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic and finds himself fully alive, and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, yeah, you look horror. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um... Blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. Aight, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you be turning kind of blue. Might want to consider breathing. Oh, I'm gonna hate right, this. Bitchin! You've been blinking and breathing. That'd be bitchin! So, alright. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, oh, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Oh, boy. Sam has some trouble with his posture, 
and has to focus on his spine. Yeah. Uh, oh, boy. <sighs> Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. How hard is it to blink, Sam? Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. Oh. He has to cough. <coughs> oh, boy. With clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. Sam tries to take a leak. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Sam takes a leak on the towels. <laughs> Sam takes a leak everywhere, including, but not limited to, himself. One empty bladder later, oh boy. Sam moves on. <laughs> oh, I hate this so much. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I have a shower. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Sam is clean as a whistle. Good job, Sam. <laughs> God damn it, fuck it, eh? Clean and empty, Sam decides to find some clues. Friggin' skateboard. Your spine, Sam. Yeah. It matters. Yeah. Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. <sighs> Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he? The top right. Okay. Where today? He picks a pair of blue jeans, the ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants, feeling more <sighs> accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket, only the best one will do. Nope. Take that off. Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. on his shoes living the dream 
of having shoes on. God damn it. Oh. Nope. Fuck it, eh? Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. This is going better than I thought it was gonna go. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He has no time for playing with a Flappy Rooster right now, though. Following this story at this time, and gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy, I'm home. Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? There is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mom. Am I supposed to keep eating? I have no idea. God damn it! Oh, you lose track of which. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. <laughs> Sam hurls coffee into his eyes <laughs> for reasons unknown. Sam drops the coffee dramatically. Jesus. Try this again. Out of cups, out of hope. Uh, breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. Blink, 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 blink. Breathe in, blow out. Breathe in, blow out. LB. With some coffee in his system, Sam finds it easier to exist. <laughs> oh, this is so infuriating. Fuck. The front door, beaten, terrified, stupid. Dude, I am totally gonna kick flip over your car. When I got there, you might want to get that hood fixed. It, it be loose. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just get in the car and go. Oh, boy. oh, this is gonna 
suck and I'm gonna drive now. Hey dude, I turned your automatic gearbox into a manual one for the fun. That'd be ironic or what? At this point, Sam notices that Dev isn't really a nice guy. I guess I should teach you how to drive a stick, huh? Hehe. <laughs> When starting the car, you want to press down the clutch pedal. Nobody has clutched anything for years. Good luck, sir. Now, while you have the clutch down, press the gas pedal. As you let go of the clutch, the car will start moving in biz. Good job, dude. You ain't as useless as you look, know what I mean? Now, to stop, you gotta move your right foot to the brake pedal. Left for us, he means. And obviously, press it down. Give stopping a go, dude. <laughs> nice. Now, start driving again, like I showed you. And obviously, you turn left and right with your arms. If you want to drive faster, you gotta use the stick, baby. To upshift, you press down the clutch and then yank the stick. <laughs> Oh my god, oh! Obviously, you can't turn left when your hand be on the stick. So to turn left, you have to move your hand back to the steering wheel. And so, Sam and the Lord of Damnation are on their merry way towards a new adventure. Together. Cozy. Dude, there be an old lady on the road. <laughs> That lady, she ain't due for another a few hours. Listen, if you kill somebody before their time because I messed up your motoring skills, I will be in deep feces, okay? So keep your eyes on the road. If you almost kill someone, I'll stop the car, yo. But then you'll have to start it all over again with the clutching biz. Hey, right? you'd be good to go. Anyway, dude, you're probably wondering why all this biz be happening to you. To tell you the truth, bro, it be all part of bureaucratic bull feces. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell, yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell and Satan. All right, yo. Close one. As I was saying. Oh, yeah, dude. The big S. Then... Bank of Hell distributes their share as salary among the citizens of Hell. Do you know how much my... Right, dude? Ah! Anyway, do you know how much my salary be? A little less than a burger flipper at Mickey Demons, yo. And a little more than an elementary school teacher. You know what I be saying, right? You holy feces. Anyway. You know what I be saying? Up high. Never mind. A soul has one, maybe two shreds on him. Depending on... Right, dude? Close one. As I was saying. A soul has one, maybe two shreds on him. Depending on his life quality. And I don't want to point fingers, but someone here be a spoiled brat, bro. Dude, you had seven shreds. You have any idea how rare that be? What be that gray cloud in the middle of the road? Oh, feces. That be a whole school of old ladies. Get ready. Right. With all those old ladies today, bro. 
Hey, Sam. You're never gonna make it to work on time with all these grannies everywhere, dude. What do you say we take a shortcut? Oh, boy. I'm not saying a whole lot. Oh. And so Sam drives the car to a place he has never been before. A place called Bridge Street. Oh, 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 oh dude. I hope it be safe here. Hope there be no, say, crazy gang members here or nothing. No, really, though. Where be the crazy gang members? Oh, crazy gang members. Oh, excuse me. You be a crazy gang member? Don't you worry, I know where the crazy gang members be. To Death's surprise and Sam's relief, the gang members are lying dead on the ground. This is when Death notices a distinct silhouette in the distance. What be the deal, bro? Why be there all pieces? The silhouette is contention and enmity, bloodshed and hostility, strife and strike, struggle, battle. Oh. She is neither wearing dumb clothes nor doing kickflips. She is just standing there after a job well done. Oh, holy feces, holy feces, it be her! I'll be my breath. Just be cool. cool. Be cool. Okay, just don't be yourself. Hey, war, how it be going, babe? Wanna hit your ride in these sweet wheels? Shut up and take me to the metro. Aren't you supposed to like reap a bunch of people, you knucklehead? I was, I was. But then I got bored, so now I hang out with my buddy Sammy here. Ain't it right, Sammy? Stop here. <laughs> Okay, we can go. So instead of guiding endless amounts of confused souls to the afterlife, you waste time with this dumb, ugly mortal. Stop here. Okay, let's go. Jesus Christ. Want a cigarette? Uh, you are so annoying. You know I'm trying to quit. <sighs> Fine, give me one. Go right here. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Oh boy. Hey, guess what? I totally landed a kickflip today. Take a left. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Wow, you really landed a kickflip? That's kind of hot. Yeah. Or, well, I almost landed a kickflip. <laughs> You know, famine can do a frontside kick flip. Such a show. <laughs> Stop here. Okay, we can go. Oh, dang it, the grandma's me back. Right. Stop here. This is where I get off. Hi, babe. I'll see you around. Whatever. Jesus. What you be looking at? Oh, snap! You be getting late for work, bro. 
Step on it as hard as you can if we gonna make it. Go, go, go! Faster, faster! I'm going full. I know I know I changed gears too early. Faster dude, get up to fifth gear. Almost fast enough, dude. Step on it. Oh, feast. Oh, fuck. Faces. Did we kill somebody? Oh, please let it just be a rock or a hipster or something. <laughs> Sam goes out the door to see what happens. He only has to follow Death's crying voice. <laughs> this guy wasn't due. He wasn't due. What be I gonna do? Hey. Wait a minute. Hey, Sam, can I borrow your last shred of life? Blink twice if yes. <gasps> oh, you have to blink twice. You can't not blink. I guess we're doing this. <gasps> oh, you son of a bitch. I hate you so much. You're going to make me blink, aren't you? Damn it! <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Let's do a deal that we can seal. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, slap your salmon 57 times in 24 hours, or you'll be dead forever. Now, get out of here. <laughs> I just had to. Anyway, let's get out of here. Weird. Well, give up my last shred of life. Sound bitch, I knew it's it. Another busy day in Robocorp Inc where they produce automatic robots for fun, convenience, and most importantly, safety. Finally, Sam makes it to work, and only by having the most terrifying morning of his life. He waggles towards the entrance, still shaky after the events of his trip. Corp's what? proudest and newest invention, the MaidBot. It is rumored to have over 3,000 functions, including pest control, rest control, and guest control. And it can make you a nice cup of coffee. Yes, Sam, do the splits. They'll respect you more. For the seven billionth time, Sam has lost the key card to his office and has to request a new one from reception. Sam focuses all his brain energy on trying to speak well-formulated sentences. Uh, hello, Mr. Samuel. How can I help you? Very good, sir. Uh, was there anything else? Sam says, sparing no vocabulary expense. Okay, I didn't really catch that, sir. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, 
I didn't really catch that, sir. Sam tries again. Ugh. It's his key card. Okay. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, Ah, fucking David! Fuck! This is so painful. You are a wordsmith, Sam. Of course, sir. Try not to lose it again. Sam takes the card and heads for his office. We've seen Sam do weird. The elevator is occupied. Sam has no time for waiting. He wants to get around to doing nothing as soon as possible. Ah, fuck. And then he meets his old nemesis. Oh, stairs. Oh boy. Oh, hey, Karen. Sam goes in the third door to his office area. Yeah, it is a dangerous job, but the health benefits are awesome, dude! I blew up my leg in a laser accident, and they gave me a new one right away! This is Ingrid, Sam's secretary. Since Sam never gets any calls or does any actual work, Ingrid has a level 80 warrior in every game ever made. Sam's office. A waste of space, according to everyone ever. Sam doesn't do much at work, simply because his father doesn't let him. According to Samuel Sr., he only has to show up, shut up, and not mess up. This gives Sam plenty of time to sharpen his skills on his favorite game, Flappy Rooster. Yes, he has one here too. Sam decides to try and beat his record of 10,000. Damn it. Fuck. Let's try that coffee again then, shall we? Someone knocks on Sam's door. It is Ingrid. Uh, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Welfenberg wants to speak with you. Also known oh as boy. Samuel Senior. Oh boy. Sam's dad. He seems kind of angry. Take the elevator to his office. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. God, God damn it! Just fucking do as you're told, you son of a bitch. Is that way? That way? And I got this one after my 16th laser accident. Yes, it is that way. Honestly, I can barely feel pain anymore.
The soothing elevator music sets the mood for productivity and not asking questions. All of Sam's interactions with his old man have lately been reduced to short meetings in his office. Sam has done weirder things to impress his dad. This is Samuel Sr. He owns Robocorp Inc. And he is tired of the fact that Sam is always late to work. Sam is keeping the morale of his company down, and it is time for him to work for his money. No more fancy offices. You are starting at the bottom. Today, you start as a lithidium inserter in the storage room. Go down to the basement and get to work. Samuel Sr. pretends he didn't see that. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. No. I'm doing, I'm doing a lot better than I thought I would, I would be doing, though. I'm doing a lot better. Lithidium is a ridiculously rare material packed with energy. It is the key ingredient to the success behind the robots in Robocorp Inc. Its energy is measured in consciousness, and even just a little bit of the stuff could do wonders for artificial intelligence. Despite all his efforts, Sam ends up working for the first time in his life. At least he's alive. Sam's job is ridiculously simple. He has to pull the lever so a chunk of lithidium comes down. Then he has to put the required amount of lithidium in a robot slot. Dude, your dad couldn't have picked a worse day to make you work with this stuff. I guess we'll be back in hell in no time. Sam figures out how to open an automatic door. Impressive, Sam. Oh. This needs two, okay. <laughs> Get up, motherfucker. Jesus. Chetan, I hate you so much, bro. No, no, no. Oh, I was close. Even that task gets too hard for Sam. He drops the incredibly toxic material. Wait, what?
Why are you telling me I have to hit it, go back and do that shit again? Oh, that's gonna suck ass. That's exactly what I have to do. Jesus Christ. You have got to be shitting on my dick right now. Bro, are you serious? How even? Yeah! You can't move that fast. Okay, that's one down. Okay, you can do this, Polly. You can do this. Who oh boy. The things I do for friends, I swear to God.
I swear to God, with friends like these, I swear. Yeah. Hate you, Chaitan. Hate you so much. You bastard. I can't even fuck up once. If I fuck up once, I lose it. Oh, made it. Yo, Sam, I can totally kickflip over that box. Death says, having never actually landed a kickflip in his entire existence. Oh, this is going to go badly, huh? Yeah. Just to spill lithium all over every robot in the basement. Oh no! 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 Oh no! No, Sam! What are we gonna do, yo? Every robot in the basement gets too conscious and escapes. Sam has to get out of work ASAP, and this time with a good excuse. Don't you see, you doorknob? I was directly involved. Sam decides to take a last sip of water before his demise. I will be in all types of species. Fuck you, death, you piece of shit. The electronic door is on lockdown mode. Sam comes to terms with his death and gives up. No, 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 no. You can't die now, dude. Oh, okay. I think I know what to do. But wait, it looks like Sam is incredible. Sam short circuits the door. He will live to breathe manually another day. Gosh darn it, you'd be right, you beautiful son of a lemur. We do have to stop them. are in deep feces, fellas. Someone exposed the robots to too much lithium, and now they are all conscious. They are headed straight for Mushroom Orphanage. Population, 300 lovely kids. All the robots that became conscious were produced in the last 10 years. That means they have a large arsenal of functions, but are fragile as hell. We will have to use an old and sturdy manual bot to be able to take them down. <sighs> Controlled manual. But gosh darn it, Johnson. None of us have done anything manually for years. Oh, I still do things manually sometimes. Maybe I can... Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh. Told you she was due in a few hours. Do we have any volunteers at all for this task? Mm -hmm. It is.
It's not that I believe in you, son, but I've never seen you actually do anything on your own before. So, at this point, <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Chillax, bro. You ain't on your own. Fuck you, Death. Suck. Yo, yo, yo! We need to blow up those robots before they hurt somebody. Old Death is pointing the Okay. Oh boy. Give me a sec. This is sadism, you know that, right? Sadistic bastard. Supposed to be a doctor, you fuck. Wait, pestilence, right? Death, war, pestilence, and famine. Those are the four of the apocalypse. Okay, so I've been streaming for an hour or so. I'm assuming this is a very short game considering how cheap it is as well. Okay, so we've got guns to fire. Okay, so wait, so B is... What? Oh, I haven't unlocked those two yet. Oh, X is... Sorry. B is gun, I think. X is shield, and then I got a bunch of things I can't do yet. You know what would have been fun, though? One person, so two people on one controller. That would have been a hell of fun. So I think in co-op, you have two controllers, I'm assuming. So you have to work together. One person does the breathing and the other person does the walking. Man, that's sweet. Oh, no, no, no. All right, you, you split into left and right. Correct, correct, correct. I remember um, there's a channel called uh, Let's Play, uh, and the the channel is, is the play the Play Pals, and they play this game in co-op. I don't remember how it goes, and they're terrible at this game. I'm surprisingly doing pretty well. I th I thought I'd I thought I'd do worse than this, but I'm doing okay actually. Oh, man. Fuck you. What do you mean you're surprised? I got skills, bruh.
Oh. All right, let's get back to it. Away. Sam, don't stop to ask why. Oh, what the feces! Shoot at that door, yo, so we can keep going. Oh, Arby. Shoot it two more times, bro. Your gun kind of sucks. Sam turns that door into toothpicks. He's packing heat. Oh, for feces sake. Another door. Just use your missile this time. Sam blasts through the door. He's done messing around. Oh, right, X, sorry. Aight, I'd be ready, but be careful. He hurls death without blinking. His only amigo. He has to breathe manually while his friend is gone. He rejoins his day-long friend. It's a touch and reunion. Counters a running fella. Runner bots are sharp like a straight razor. You gotta pop them before they come too close. Oh, wrong ability. God damn it. Ah. Yo, I think I fixed it for you, Sammy.
That was uh, the worst. up a car, uses it as a shield. He throws it when he's done with it. Might as well. Oh, for fuck's sake. I changed my mind. I Oh man. Oh man, I 
End of the trail, and the orphanage is still standing. Maybe a good day after all. Whew. No dead kids. No weeks left. But then the wind turns. There's one last robot needing to be taken care of. A maid bot. Oh, feces, dude. Hold on to your flappy rooster. Gotta watch out for them there missiles. Good old mines start ticking down. Sam gotta think fast. No. Jeez, dude. Focus. on backwards a uh, tactical uh, retreat Oh boy. Three hundred orphans go to heaven, which is a totally nice place, by the way. But death, he caused Satan at least three hundred shreds of life. He ain't gonna be happy. And Sam, well, he's got a lot on his mind right about now. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Anyway, let's continue the story, shall we? Jesus. Oh, feces. I have to disappear forever before he finds me. Mm. Just got to do one thing first. Death has risked a meeting with the one he's trying to avoid for one simple item. The Skatemate 3000. 
Super easy to do kickflips with. Oh, I'll be so close. I can almost taste the kickflips. <clears throat> but then he arrives. The angel of darkness. The evil spirit. Mephistopheles. Lucifer. The king of hell. Beelzebub. Satan. Hey, I didn't... I wasn't... <laughs> what you be up to, bro? Oh, you know. Satan things. Busy, busy, busy. Like a fly. <laughs> That's a... Yep, a good one. <laughs> so... I hear you killed 300 hairless apes. Kill I did. I was passing by while it happened, yes, but... <coughs> and they were too young to sit. So, they aren't even coming to I can pay you back. I have three hundred <coughs> And where did you go? If you didn't steal them from me. We get the jobs. <laughs> you are in deep feces. Meanwhile, Sam is trying to pull himself out of deep feces. There are only a few hours left to his curse. Oh boy. Oh, good stereo sound there. From left to right. Fucking hell, come on, we're nearly there. I'm not going to reach 2,000 blinks. No way in hell. Oh. Right as Sam is about to go to bed, she arrives. War. Can you believe that idiot? He went ahead and got himself thrown in hell jail, so now I have to be both deaf and war. That's double shifts and no extra pay. <sighs> anyway, it says here that you were supposed to die almost 24 hours ago. Sam tries to say something along the lines of, No, no, please don't. This is no fun. This is no fun. But his lack of competence in the art of speaking manually only results in this happening. <coughs> Once again, Sam is in hell. Come on, I'm supposed to take you to the gate.
Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be, ooh, the son of the CEO of a huge company. You get your own office, and you get to play Flappy Rooster all day. Uh, that will be all your shreds, dear sir. Sam remembers that he has none left. Oh, no shreds of life? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but this means you have to go to hell jail. Guards! <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, no shreds, eh? Well, it can happen to the best of us, mate. Let's take you to hell jail then, shall we? Such fun. Uh, take all your concern related concerns up with upper management. What's your favorite movie, mate? Mine is It's a Wonderful Life. There you go, mate. Hope you will have a good time. Well, let's bring him some food. Take all concern related concerns up with upper management. And there he is. Dead. Yo, 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 Sam. Oh, you came to save me. Oh, you'd surely be a bro, bro. So, what be the plan? Dude, dude, that'd be hardcore. But I suppose that'd be the only way. Aye, when the god comes back, I'll rip him in half and put you inside. You should be able to control him with your manual power. Here he comes. Uh, do you like strawberry or chocolate cupcakes, mate? I brought them both just because. Whoa! <laughs> Heck yeah, it worked, bro. All right, crush these bombs and then get your butt to the spot where we met for the first time. We be getting out of here, yo. As the still warm insides of the guard squeeze against Sam's skin. He thinks about how lucky he is to be rich, but he can pay for all the hours of therapy after this. I'm terribly sorry. Sam violently kills a guard. <laughs> He'll just be reborn as a demon anyway. Of course, Sam doesn't. How about we get you back to jail and watch a code burn? You're not being very nice right now, dear Jack. Sam slays another guard. Crazy and desperate. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Demon soda is the best, dear sir. <laughs> and there goes another one. How about we get you back to jail? I want to kill you. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but... This goes on for a while. Let's just see what happens. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Nice right now, dear sir. Get we all Oh boy. You made it. All right. Let me just open up a portal. Oh, snap. Silly, hairless ape. I'll make your pain beyond imagination. Oh boy. Time to mention those concern related concerns, Sam. <laughs> What do you block again? What was block again? I don't remember what that was.
Ah, that's what it is. Are we supposed to avoid that? Oh, we gotta get back up again, huh? Ah, for fuck's sake. So close. How do you block that? I'm blowing, but it's not working. I have to interrupt him. Okay, he's going to get up to him and interrupt him before he does it. Okay. Okay, got it. I 
Ah, fucking hell! I keep forgetting the controls. That's where you blow on it, okay. Fuck! I keep forgetting! No, I fucked it up.
Ah! Wrong fucking button, god damn it. Ah. Oh. Not bad. Landed the kickflip. Can anyone see that? Holy feces. Did death just do a kickflip? As Satan is distracted, Sam grabs the opportunity and grabs Satan's sword. How did he do that? Ouch! What the feces, dude? Oh, sorry, dude. No offense, but you were being kind of a douche. Take to a gosh darn hell hospital. Oh, okay, dude. Oh, thanks for everything, Sammy. Of course you get to live again. I will even grant you one final wish. Sam looks up to the sky and wishes that the 300 orphans came back to life, safe and sound. Not that heaven is a bad place to be. But, 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 but that's 300 orphans. And 300 shreds. The, the, I've been saving up for an eternity. Oh, fine. And so Sam gets resurrected for the last time. Our story ends in the middle of last Wednesday, where a sort of hopeful young man named Sam is about to make amends with his girlfriend. Whoa, you showed up on time for once. Oh, hey! I missed the fountain. Uh, we are still single. Ah, oh, boy. Of course, I look relieved, dude. Jesus Christ.
mm-hmm. that game was stressful how long this process took you're sitting there just playing the game whenever you damn well feel like it speed runner my ass you couldn't speed run a i don't even know what i'd use as a as a simile for that because it's stupid speed running i don't even know what that is that i even this isn't even my normal speaking voice i'm an american and i'm doing a british accent in this recording studio i don't want to do it anymore i've had it i don't want to talk like this do you know how difficult that is i'm i'm going up jory i'm out of here Ladies and gentlemen, that was my playthrough of Manual Samuel. All for the goddamn pleasure of my doctor friend Chetan, who is absolutely fucking sadistic in making me play that fucking game. You son of a bitch. But hey, it was still funny nonetheless. It was good fun nonetheless. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate any and all support you guys can give me. Remember to have our socials down below right there. And of course, as always, remember to follow me on Twitch. Get notifications when I go live, whenever I go live. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to road to affiliate, and hear your support. So, thank you guys so much for watching. So from me to you guys, until next time, peace out. <laughs>